purchased stolen firearms. Well, you look good. Thank you. Did anybody else dress like this? No. I wanted to make a good first impression. I've dropped various because I'm past that. <laughs> what am I smelling? It's like a warm The smell, pits of hell, is the worst scent I've ever smelled in my life. I first came into the man I am today. One of the first things I want to do when I got to the dorms is take a shower, you know? People need to know that you're not scared of shower. Some people, when they come to jail, they don't shower for days because they're scared. That shows weakness. Yeah. I'm feeling going by a different name. Yeah. Awesome. Calls everyone else's name. Everyone else answers. He calls my name. I don't answer. Awesome. He calls it. It's going to be a long 60 days. So I just recently left intake, and now I'm in Brighton, too. Oh, this is Lord. Luna is the pod worker. She was there to give me all of the information that I needed and more. Listen, I yeah, I'm a little bossy. She feels very powerful here. Luna rubs everybody wrong. It's birthday. You lied. We got the same birthday. <laughs> With Lori, we got to talk and it's cool. You're moving to the kitchen. Me? Yeah, someone. What? To get a black roommate. You guys instantly pull him out. I think you guys are some of the worst people in the world for treating you like We did not fill out your bank. We have nothing to do with that. I feel like you guys did. This is actually real life. I'm worried about you. I'm worried about you too. Well, I'm confused. We'll get to this. I'm confused. We'll get here. 
Oh, yes, I'm afraid of people flying. You've been here 15 times. 15 times. Actually, actually, I have to. She's a frequent flyer. They should have a punch card for her. She knows everybody. Everybody knows her. She goes here. That's what they say. What is this? This is new. That's part of the documentary. That's <laughs> <laughs> not security. Well, honey, I'm pretty sure that you're not allowed to do that in here. We shower. I walk around naked if you want. What's really happening? What are you really? What are you guys really? Well, we have to change. Like you change your bras. Really? Yeah. So I just sit there. Give a look. <laughs> So Danielle comes in, she sees the camera, it's not usually there, and she says that she's gonna cover it up. And I know that they just can't. Like, I feel like this is like a major statue. Is it maybe a better mirror than this? Yeah, let's look. Look, I love the fact that you're all opening it. It's actually better than this. Come look, come here. I told her it would actually make a great mirror. And it does, it has a nice reflection better than I'm gonna into a good thing. Let's look. Okay. Let's show them that we're cute. Hi! <laughs> yeah, good idea. Why not? Why not? Let's. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, it was not against them. <laughs> it's still a little, uncom little uneasy because I just don't belong on this side. But I know how to make myself comfortable in an uncomfortable situation. My name is I was a correction officer on Rockers Island for five years. You know, it, it get active in there. You know, assaults do happen. People do fight. As a correction officer, you will get assaulted. I guess I've been assaulted. But to be different because I knew what it was like to be on that other side of the fence. To be treated a certain way. So I always treat people with respect. That's my fiance. We made it official to get married before I came out here, you know. So now I'm a happily married man. You <laughs> got up, okay? Yeah, well, you know, I am. Sierra, she was on the fence about me doing this just because she also has a brother that's incarcerated. You know, it's like, wow, like we got people trying to get out and you want to put yourself in. All right. So how did you get her to agree? But a compromise was in her contract, you know, we had to be married first, so we got married. Uh, so basically, I got married, got on a plane, came to jail. signal we talked about yep what was that i don't even want to practice it it's not gonna happen. okay that's fair <laughs> i'm good with that it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen i love that well i'm really looking forward to your perspective i really look forward to seeing you at the end of 60 days i'm a correction officer <laughs> you know i'm in law enforcement so i'm just hoping that nobody come over there and find out and puts a real big target on my back well before you freeze to death Tyndall, and he's gonna prepare you to go to jail you ready yep did you warm up the shackles let's, let's, <laughs> yeah. let's do it let's do it Okay, what we're going to have you do is to step over here next to my vehicle. Being a black male, going into a predominantly white jail, that raises a lot of red flags for me because me going in there could be intimidated for them. So are they going to question me? Are they going to try to, like, come at me? Something like that. So there's a lot of things that come into play with it. It's about to have you divide. Tooth. I feel like I'm going insane in my own head. I don't know I can get like this. I feel like I've gotten in a rhythm um, now. I feel I feel more confident. I know my mission. 
I'm here to help inmates who are struggling with addiction. Cursing my name in my head, Daniel Paulson, Daniel Paulson, Daniel Paulson. Because of the incident with the intake officer, I don't want a repeat of that. Referring to general population, I don't know what that looks like. It's slightly stressful. You don't know where you're going. Your fate is in their hands. I'm not a real inmate. Like, I don't know. There's so many, like, doubts going through your mind. So I walk into Sundance 1. I don't know what I'm walking into. This is a different world. I can't show weakness. These men are gangbangers. What if I get a really terrible cellmate? I'd be in there with 20 hours at the same time. That was the mental monster. Damn. So that's a scary thing. shows all the time like we're children oh you can't get coffee for the bathroom she has to be the loudest person in the room she always has something to say i don't have like a photographic memory but like i'm also full of just like random things she just wants to hear herself speak and when you think she's finally gonna show up she starts back up again Oh my god, she's just talking all the time. All right, it's your guys' time. Yeah. As a pod worker, Luna is, she gets to see out. <laughs> that woman never stops talking, right? It's actually kind of painful. She, it's like she is better than a lot of people because she's people. She's not here for drugs. She's not here for drugs? No. Luna? She's here for work. She's oh, the one that's fraud. Yeah. Am I ready? Eight checks. Okay, problem. Oh my god, stop talking. Please stop talking. Oh. Then when you stop the car, pull up, and, and you see the officer come out, it's like, uh oh, no familiar faces no more. <laughs> Okay, Any immediate medical conditions? I'm in. Inside over here, we need to search and we'll take those off.
of course, you know, my concerns of, I don't see no black people. <laughs> so that's my first thing, you know, that was not my black, you know, he always think like, you know, skin got something to do with everything. I'm like, oh man, like, yeah, I can't play this job. <laughs> they not even had an attitude problem. I have attitude. I'm like, oh, no. I had a video message scheduled for my family at one o'clock and they're not letting me out. I'm telling you, I got a business at one o'clock. One o'clock, there is no is that after breakfast you can get your tablets it's a two-man cell but they have us in there by ourselves so that alone eats you alive you know at 18 years old i got sentenced to five years in the state prisons for first degree robbery second degree burglary carjacking the worst back when i was doing five years i was just jailed but now i'm not an inmate you know i, I have a family we have a life, you know. Fine, we're the one where you pay five bucks a month. So I got my tablet. And it's gonna have some weird videos to make you fun. Oh. <laughs> I wanna get my video visit. So how does that work? You'll get a, a message on your tablet that you have a visit. Just pick the free one if you want. You can always upgrade later. If I could call my wife, you know, it gives me gasoline for 24 more hours. My kids means everything to me. My kids means the world to me. I think about them throughout this whole process. That's all I need. That's the way to keep calm and not just... Uh, 
water, cold water, cold water. and they're not letting me out. Yeah, I see. 